one minute he went under an Arctic. And when I got there, yeah, when I got there, I've gone underneath. Yeah, when I got there, all you got is the body. It's in the back there where it's been took off. Took oh, my tape. God. Wow. I'm, I'm talking about the most gruesome things ever here. And then I went as a traffic cop for 12 years. So oh, is that is that on the motorbikes and the cars? What catching thing. people speeding and yeah, stuff. all that sort of accidents mainly. You know, oh, really? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, you can know. see some pretty grim. Oh, absolutely. You really? Yeah, I absolutely. bet you've seen some stuff. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen? Your main main thing you do is accidents. Yeah. I mean, I dealt with. I was in there for what nearly 12 years as, as a traffic cop. Yeah. And my time there, I dealt with a fatal probably five times a year. Really? So I've been talking five times a year for twelve years I, that I dealt with. That's sixty. That's sixty. That's sixty fatals. What? And you're you're seeing that? Of you... course. Yeah. One well, minute went under an Arctic, and when I got there, yeah, when I got there, I've gone underneath. Yeah, when I got there, all you got is the body. It's in the back there where it's been took off. Took oh my god! You kept it. Wow. So, you know. So yeah, because you are. You know, it's um, Blackwood Tunnel. The last the last bend Blackwood Tunnel going. South, yeah, from north to south, yeah. The very last bend there, you can take it, and not, I think it was 91.4 mile an hour. That's a coefficient of the road, the grip of the road, decent tyres on the rest of it. That's the fastest you can take. If you go 91.3, you're going to lose it. We got in there, we got a call two o'clock in the morning, just about set up to have a game of, game of snooker for the hour, yeah. And um, got a call, Blackwood Tunnel accident. Well, if you had a Blackwood Tunnel at that time in the morning, next time it's going to be not very good. Screw it in the car, screw it down there. I was at both traffic goes here, scoot it down there, get down there, get in there. The, the lights on so they've stopped any cars going in there. And I drive in. As I drive in, I go all the way through, can't see nothing. Then it looked like what was um, a black bag, you know, a black bin liner, mm -hmm. yeah, landing road. Um, so I stop. And when I stop, as I stop, I get out, I walk up to what this black bin liner looks like, and there was something laying in front of it. And what it was, this sounds really gruesome, but what it was was the top of a leg from the thigh, still in the jean, just laying there. Fucking hell. The black bag, which I thought was a black bag, was the motorcyclist, right? And his crash helmet had rolled off and his chin was virtually on top of his eyebrows. It smashed to pieces. But I can't see a bike. I can't see a motorbike, all right? So I carry on walking. Obviously, the, the, the guy's dead. You know, call everybody in, all the, all the all various people to come and help. I keep walking. When I walk round, just before you go exit out the Blackwood Tunnel there, on the left-hand side is a silver 600 BMW with the indicator on. Right? So I walk up to the bike. I don't touch it at all. Have a look at it first off. See around it. Yeah? Check what gear it's in. It's in top gear. Yeah? So it, it, it's in high oh, gear. What he's done, what it transpired he done, He's come through at a rate of knots, yeah? He's clipped the inside curve. Apparently, his, his drink level was way over the top. He'd come right. from Maida Vale. Right. Quite from, it worked for BT. Clipped the inside corner, shot across. When, where he's lost control, he's hit the other side, but it's thrown him off the bike at speed. And you've got a rail that goes all the way through Blackwell Tunnel. Walk, so you can walk one side of it, actually. It's for the maintenance guys. So you've got a rail with all that. He's just wrapped himself all around the rail. Yeah. It's ripped his leg off, smashed into pieces, he's gone dead. But a bike has chugged on until it stalled. They've done a wall of death, basically. Wow. Until it stalled. And it was still upright. Because I actually rode the bike back <coughs> and there was nothing still, wrong with the bike. Still upright. It was still upright, leaning there with the indicator going. So of course, as it's thrown him off, the indicator's on the right hand side, like a little paddle. Yeah. He's obviously thrown him off, he's caught the indicator with his thumb, or I'm assuming. Yeah. Bang, wrapped himself around. Fucking hell. When we went to the post mortem, then what I said, there wasn't a bone in his head. But why did he crash your mind? Weren't a bone in his head an inch in any direction. He just completely smashed himself to pieces. Shattered it all. Yeah, yeah. And you had to see that and be a part of that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, it's, 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 it's your job. It's your job. You're, you know, I'm, I'm talking about the most gruesome things ever here. How do you not that, let that affect you, though? Because you are like, you're a lovely bloke, you're larger than life, you're so bubbly. Like That's who's... why. Is that? I don't, I don't dwell on it. I don't dwell on anything. Yeah. I don't dwell on anything. You know, if something happens, it happens. Um, if it's grief, you grieve it. Um, if you've got to get on, you've got to push on. You know, look, like, I've still got to live my life. I've mm. still got to live a life. I've still got to be happy. I, I've got kids that I'm not, I don't want to see me walking around all my mm. Um So I, I, I can, I can, I'm, I can forget it. I, right. I, you know, well, no, 
You don't, you don't forget, forget it. it, but you do. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, if you ask me the question, I can recall it. Yeah. Um, but it's not something I think about every day. Yeah. Wow. I'll tell you what it does. It makes you realise life. It makes you realise life. You're saying about gross. It sounds yeah. awful. But to give mouth to mouth to a, a kid who's dead in the road, that's that's. What, you have to do that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we got, we got a call. Now, when a 909 call goes out, to an accident. Generally, it's ambulance first, fire brigade, police get it last. Because mm -hmm. we report it and measure it up and do the scenes. But we was at the top of the road when it came out. And this is up in East London. Now. And um, the call came out. We shoot down there. We're literally top of the road. Get down there and there's a young girl laying in the street. Mum's holding her hand screaming. And a guy giving the young girl mouth to mouth. Yeah? She's been hit by a, uh, an escort van. Ran out between the cars. Weren't the van driver's fault. The guy was in bits. He was only 20. Uh, oh. Builder going home. She's run out between the cars. He took her out. We got uh, we got his speed at about 23 mile an hour. Right. So, I mean, he wasn't speeding. He was just a kid on his way. But absolute blew his brains. Yeah. Um, jumps out the car. Says, thanks very much, mate. And I'm giving mouth to mouth to this girl. And she, she's dead. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, but you've got to be, you've got to keep going. You've got to, because I can't pronounce her. Life extinct or anything like that. Yeah. All I'm praying is, also when you're in the distance, you're da, 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 the ambulance. Say, oh, come on, guys, just hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. As the ambulance guys, we knew the ambulance guys because we were dealing with them all the time. As mm. they come out, I've looked, looked at the guys and took them off a wink, let them know what's the name. Cheers for us, just scooped her up in the back, in the back of the ambulance. Mum's gone in there and off they've gone. My mate's gone with them, the other, the other Bobby, he's gone with them. Um, continuity of evidence is called then. Yeah. Uh, so he's gone to the hospital with a homer, and I think they meant to. Gone to the homer in the hospital. Yeah. Um, I stayed at the scene and measured the scene up and done all the bits and pieces like we have to. This was about half past three, half past three in the afternoon. Um, I got home at four o'clock in the morning. By the time he measured it all up and done all the bits and pieces <sighs> and everything else, right, the whole shebang up. There's a lot involved because the local station that you're on, yeah. their, off, their, their duty officer's got to come out to it, the inspector say, you've got all this statement up for him and, and all, this, all that sort of thing. So I got in about four o'clock in the morning. Bear in mind, I've got four kids. Yeah. My four kids was all dots anyway. Yeah. You know, you've got my two, four, eight, and, uh, two, four, six, and eight. You know, and, and he, you relate it. You relate the, you relate the situation. Yeah. But um, next day, three o'clock, I was in the car and off we go again. What, just Next day, no, duty that, 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 was how, that was yesterday. How, how do you cope mentally with that situation? Um, it's, you've got to be a different animal to be able to do it. You know, I'm, I'm, it's not that I've got no compassion I have. I mean, it's, it's heartfelt. It's, it's horrible. Mm. But you have to go, I, I have to mm. go on. It's not my family. That sounds really, really cruel and really, really wicked. You know, if it's one of mine, I have no idea how I'd react. I've got yeah. no idea. Um, my job... You're doing your job. It's not a fire brigade. The ambulance boys, are, you know, as, as soldiers and everything else, mm. you know, they go out, they do their job. And, you know, it, it's, you expect that type of thing within the type of job you're doing. So, again, you've got to have a completely different mindset. Mm. You've got to be able to block it. Some people can't. That's why they have all the counselling. And, I mean, today's today's world, everybody gets cancelled and all mm. that. We didn't. Next time, say, all right, mate, yeah. Did you do that report? Yeah, done the report. Lovely. Thanks very much. See you later. Just Bang away you go. To have thick that was skin. yesterday. Yeah. That was yesterday. Yeah, you've got to go. You're go on today. 